I was told that it never happened. I learned about how thousands of Ukrainians and other Europeans were unjustly imprisoned, not because of any wrong they had done, but only because of who they were, where they had come from. These sites are spread all across our country, from Nanaimo, British Columbia, to Amherst, Nova Scotia. This large displacement of Ukrainian Canadians from 1914 to 1920 affected our community for decades. 106 of them in the internment camp operations did go mentally insane. And I think it would be a very difficult thing for anybody to be stuck in that situation and not have some play on, am I ever going to be free again? Imagine spending a 12-hour day in the forest cleaning brush now, in the summer, mosquitoes, in the winter when your clothes get wet, and there you are coming back to a a camp that's barely insulated. It's really something that this story is finally coming out and it's still having a hard time coming out. It was so well hidden. How do you take people's hopes and dreams and the courage to come to a new country and then do that? It is a story ultimately that is one that we need to remember. It has to be told and retold to our children and our children's children because it is a story of rights. And we need to tell that story so that other generations will be, in effect, responsible for carrying on the idea that if, unless we are prepared to defend those rights, we may very well suffer the same fate.